And why would I do that? Surely, you don't mean. Very well. I will humor you for now. So, what is it that brought you to me? I'm certain you don't know me. And even if you do, you have no business trying to get involved with me. So, what can I do to satisfy you so you will leave? You heard me. Do not think I am an idiot. I can see that you have some kind of desire that you want me to fulfill. But as for what it is, I cannot fathom. You don't understand anything about me, but you act as though you do. So, if you mean the words that you say, I will give you a chance to prove yourself, to prove to me that you're not just like every other admirer. A test of sorts. The first test is quite simple. If you claim to know me as much as you do, what is the reason why I don't use my left side? Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. Go on. Fine. I'll acknowledge you at least a bit. I don't know how you know that information, but if what you said is true from earlier, then you should know the next question as well. What is my goal? Why is it I put myself through this? Yes, in part. But your answer, well, it's good enough. I'll admit, I'm surprised. Why is it you know so much about me? But before we continue, there is one last question. Something that you must answer. That no one should know. What is my favorite animal? Damn. I didn't expect you to get that. It's almost as if you can see into my life, like you were watching me on television or something. But no matter the case, I suppose you passed the preliminaries. Which means, in order to live up to what I expect, and to be someone worthy of my time, you must now prove yourself on the practical portion. Are you willing to attempt it? I assure you, it's not easy, but it will do you no bodily harm. It's merely to prove you are not just a fake in this world. I cherish both honesty and straightforwardness, so won't you tell me? Tell me a bit about yourself. Don't hold back. And trust me, I'll be able to tell by your temperature if you're lying. Mm hmm. 
Okay. Understood. I find it fascinating that you've lived such a life. All the more so that it brought you to me. But what is it you're looking for? Again, I'll know if you lie. Why is it you come to me today? I see. Perhaps you are someone worthy of my time after all. I must say, you speak as though you have conviction in your voice. It makes me quite happy, actually, to have met you, even if we've only just begun. So, furthermore, the last of the questions. What is it you see when you look into my eyes? Is that really it? You have such a simple but eloquent way of saying it. So I thank you for your honesty. I will choose to trust you for now. But there is still a matter to be discussed. My trust aside, what is your end goal? Are you trying to get to know me better? Did you need my power for something? I'm no stranger to people using others as pawns. No stranger to being used myself. But thankfully, I am no one's pawn. Not anymore. Since I graduated UA, I've managed to keep myself in the limelight, but not intentionally. I don't care much for fame. Nor do I need fortune, because I've already had it for most of my life. But what I do care about is people who wish to do the right thing. So, you want to be my sidekick, don't you? I suppose that's as worthy of a goal as any. So, let's see what you're made of. Come at me with all you've got. I must say, I'm impressed. But are you really aiming for just my sidekick? Someone like you could easily be a top hero. I'm not even sure if I could beat you if you went serious. But, quirks aside... Why me? Is there some other reason? Hmm. You don't say. I saved you a few years back. I'm very glad to hear that. It just means that my efforts are not in vain. I've tried for many years to perfect both sides of my power. Even if... I don't like using my father's gift to me. It has been used for good, even if it caused so much harm. And, well, I thank you for you telling me so much. Just relax. It's okay now. You don't need to go so far, but if you are serious about being my sidekick, then, then I humbly accept, and on my honor, as a Todoroki, I, Shoto Todoroki, pledge myself to protect you as well, like I did those years back. So please, 
I shall be in your care, and trust you to do the same for me. So, I suppose that would make us friends. I would love to be your friend. Uh, why are you blushing? It's okay. You don't need to worry. It's completely all right. I would never judge you for something like that. So please, let your heart be at ease. And besides, I'm no stranger to embarrassment. Just last week, when I accidentally caused that explosion, I was kind of the laughing stock of the hero community. Even if I recovered, since it was shocking, to say the least. I hope that in the future when we're fighting the villains, you won't have to see too many embarrassing things of me. I like to be cool to those that I care about, and that's not even the start of it. So, I look forward to working with you, and I look forward to getting to know you, partner. <laughs>